PHE Minister Marcus N. Marak dismissed allegations of discrepancies in the implementation of Jaljeevan mission, attributing the allegations to pre-election politics. Marak highlighted the 73.15% completion rate, emphasizing transparency through third-party vetting and geotagging to combat corruption. He further said that the department was working hard and hoped for 100% JJM implementation in Meghalaya by February or March this year. I have not seen the nature of complaint that you're talking about. And uh, in terms of, you know, in respect of corruption, uh, anybody is charging in inter implementation of uh, Jaljeevan. What kind of a corruption he wants to see? Uh, I would like to know that. Uh, you know, the way the Jaljeevan mission is being implemented is very transparent. Uh, once the work is completed, uh, bill is not paid immediately because there is a third party. The third party man, uh, has to go for inquiry and only when third party has done his inquiry and satisfied that the work is completed, then only, only after his reporting, the process for the payment will start. So therefore, there is no question of chance of uh, any corruption at all. So therefore, I totally don't agree with the kind of corruption charges they're making about. It is not possible at all to withdraw the amount. Uh, even you know, third party, without you know, uh, being reported from the third party, the payment is not possible at all. So therefore, I'll look into the matter, what is the nature of allegations. But uh, most of the work in West Garo Hills are ongoing uh, construction. Some of them are Steel uh, constructions are going on. So therefore, maybe the work is under construction. See, now the MP elections are coming. These are all politically planned. And then just to, uh, you know, just before the elections, they have to make this kind of a statement so that people are, people will believe them and say that, ah, government is not doing anything. So I'm, I'm here to tell you that uh, JJM implementations, as I have told you that is very clear, very transparent. Payments are also very transparent. And before payments, uh, works, uh, works are also monitored very thoroughly because uh, uh, even after completion of the projects, we have to geotech the projects. We have to geotech the sources. We have to geotech the project itself. And then where is the chance of uh, you know lying to the people? There's no question at all. And anybody who wants to, you know, view the progress of the Jaljeevan mission implementation, there is a dashboard which is created by the Ministry of Jal Shakti, Government of India. So through this dashboard, anybody, could, anybody can view and assess the implementation of Jaljeevan mission and achievements as well. Today also we stand, you know, 73.15% today, as on today. And you know, I'm going through the Jaljeevan mission dashboard, which is created by the government of India. I'm not, it's not my creation. It's not the creation of PhD department government of Meghalaya. It's a creation of uh, Jal Shakti Ministry government of India. And we stand today 4,76,596 household connections. So we have connected uh, 4,76,596 households to the people of our state. When we started this Jaljeevan mission, it was only 4,500 plus household connections. Today we stands, uh, we have connected to 4,76,596. It's an achievement, I would say. It's an achievement. We should appreciate this. Our engineers are working very hard. Our officials on the ground level, they are doing very well. So therefore, we should appreciate. We should, you know, commend, command, commend their, you know, sincerity and hard work. We are trying our level best to, uh, you know, go for hundred percent. By when? Most likely by, uh, you know, February, March. We are trying to go for a hundred percent completion. Within this financial. Yeah, within this financial year.